Hello, you are welcome. Today we have to solve the most interesting math question that is m square minus n square is equal to 15 and we have to find the value of m and n. So to solve this uh, interesting question, solution. Now the question is uh, m square minus n square is equal to 15. We have to solve this interesting question. Now, we know that to solve this uh, interesting question, this is in the form of uh, a square minus b square, which is equal to a plus b times a minus b. Now here, we have to apply this identity here. So this will become m plus n times m minus n is equal to 15. So here this will become m plus n times m minus n which is equal to 15 now we have to factorize this 15 as 15 times 1 which is equal to 15 and also 1 times 15 which is equal to 15 and also 5 times 3 is equal to 15 and 3 times 5 is equal to 15 so these are the different factors of 15 now we know that here uh, m plus n is always greater than m minus n so to apply this condition here the case number first this is possible because here the first number is greater and this is case number second which is impossible because here the first uh, number is smaller so this does not obey the condition uh, like m plus n is greater than m minus n so here the case number third is uh, the first is greater so this is possible and this is not possible so here this, these are the two cases case number first and case number second we have to solve the answer of and the value of m n from these two cases so first of all we have to solve the case number first which is m plus n times m minus n is equal to 15 times 1 so here case number first is m plus n times m minus n this is equal to 15 times 1 now here look at here m plus n is equal to 15 and m minus 1 is equal to 1 so here from this equation m plus n is equal to 15 and m minus n this is equal to 1 to find the value of m we have to add these two equation so we add these two equation here this is positive and this is negative and this cancel with each other m plus m this is equal to 2m and 15 plus 1 is equal to 16 so here 2m is equal to 16 now we have to find the value of m uh, for we have to divide both side by 2 this side divided by 2 and this side divided by 2 this two cancel with this 2 and 2 times 8 is equal to 16 so therefore m is equal to 8 so this is the value of m from the case number first now we have to find the value of n to find the value of n we have to subtract the equation number 1 from the equation number 2 so therefore m plus n is equal to 15 m minus n is equal to 1 we have to subtract these two equations so here this is negative this is positive and this is negative here this positive m negative m cancel with each other n plus n is equal to 2n which is equal to 15 minus 1 is equal to 14 now to find the value of n we have to divide both sides by 2 this side divided by 2 and this side divided by 2 to cancel with 2 2 times 7 is equal to 14 so here n is equal to 8 sorry 7 n is equal to 7 so here the value of m is 8 and the value of n is 7 so here m n this is equal to 8 7 so this is the value of m and n from the case number first now we have to solve the case number second the case number second is m plus n times m minus n is equal to 5 times 3 so this is the case number second we have to write the case number second and from this case we have to find the value of m n so here the case number second is m plus n m plus n times 
एम माइनस एन दिस इज इक्वल टू फाइव टाइम्स थ्री सो दिस इज द केस नंबर सेकेंड सो हेयर अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस इक्वेशन एम प्लस एन इज इक्वल टू फाइव एंड एम माइनस एन इज इक्वल टू थ्री सो हेयर एम प्लस एन इज इक्वल टू फाइव एंड एम माइनस एन इज इक्वल टू थ्री टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एम वी हैव टू एड दिस टू इक्वेशन सो हेयर दिस एन कैंसिल विद दिस एन टू एम इज इक्वल टू एट एंड टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एम वी हैव टू डिवाइड बोथ साइड बाई टू दिस साइड डिवाइड बाई टू एंड दिस साइड डिवाइड बाई टू टू कैंसिल विद टू हेयर टू टाइम्स फोर इज इक्वल टू एट एम इज इक्वल टू फोर सो दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ एम फ्रॉम दिस सेकेंड केस नो वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एन फॉर दैट वी हैव टू सब्ट्रैक्ट दिस टू इक्वेशन सो हेयर एम प्लस एन इज इक्वल टू फाइव एंड एम माइनस एन इज इक्वल टू थ्री सो वी हैव टू सब्ट्रैक्ट दिस टू इक्वेशन सो हेयर दिस इज नेगेटिव दिस इज पॉजिटिव दिस इज नेगेटिव सो हेयर एम कैंसिल विद एम नेगेटिव एम एंड हेयर एन प्लस एन इज इक्वल टू टू एन which is equal to 5 minus 3 is equal to 2 so here this side divided by 2 and this side divided by 2 to cancel with 2 and this to cancel with this 2 so here n is equal to 1 so this is the value of n so from the case number second the value of m n is 4 and 1 so this is the answer from the second case now we have to verify our answer either this answer are correct or not so let's verify First of all, we have to check the answer from the case number first, which is m is equal to eight and seven is equal to, m is equal to eight and n is equal to seven. We have to solve this or uh, check verify this, and after the after that we have to check our answer from the case number second, which is m n is equal to four and one. So let's check our answer. First of all, we have to check uh, the case number first, which is m is equal to eight and n is equal to uh, seven. So here, the question is uh, m square minus n square is equal to fifteen. And from the case number first, m is equal to eight and n is equal to seven. M is equal to eight and n is equal to seven. Now we have to put these values in the equation number first. Uh, the, so the, this will become m is equal to eight. So here. Eight square minus seven square is equal to fifty. Now eight square is equal to sixty-four minus seven square is equal to forty-nine, which is equal to fifteen. And finally, sixty-four minus forty-nine is equal to fifteen, which is equal to fifteen. So this shows that the case number first and the value of m in eight and seven are the correct values. Now after that we have to solve the, to check the case number second. Which is m is equal to four and n is equal to one. So let's check the case number second. Here second case is m is equal to four and n is equal to one. So the question is m square minus n square is equal to fifteen. To put the value of m in here, so here four square minus one square is equal to fifteen. And finally four square is equal to sixteen, which is equal to Sorry, sixteen minus one is equal to fifteen, and sixteen minus one is equal to fifteen, which is equal to fifteen. This shows that the value of m n from the case number second are also the correct value of m and n. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe the channel. Thank you. Bye bye.